If there is one word that surfaces in the gospel for today, it is disappointment. More than disappointment, it is frustration. When you give your very best and then you harvest nothing. When you give your very best and you harvest a whirlwind. When you give your very best and you harvest terror and violence against you. Who does not know disappointment? Who has never been frustrated? Who has never been hurt after loving? Who has never been hurt after giving so much and then not expecting very much? What we reap is gossip or intrigue or backstabbing or even worse, attempts on our lives. Can we love without getting disappointed? Can we serve without getting disappointed? And the answer, my dear brothers and sisters, is we cannot love and not not be disappointed. Because part of loving while we are still here on earth is the reality of being disappointed. That is why the Lord who is fully human allowed himself to be disappointed, to be frustrated, to be hurt by the very same people he loved, to be hurt by the very same people he wanted to save, to be hurt by the very same people who were ridiculing him, and to choose to say, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing, even if they have not yet asked for forgiveness, even if they have not yet acknowledged their sins. Can we love without getting disappointed? No. And then the next question is, maybe we should stop loving so that we will not be disappointed? And the answer is still no. Why are we always disappointed here on earth? Why do we have to suffer rejection while we are alive? Why are our dreams frustrated? Why do our friends become traitors? Why do our children turn against us after bringing them up so well? Why? The answer is because we are living in this world and everything in this world is limited. Everything in this world is blemished. Everything in this world is imperfect. And so it is with the way we love. With the way we love here on earth, we are blemished, we are weak, we are subject to temptation. We carry the roots of original sin in our love. Ang sagot po, bakit masakit magmahal? Kasi wala ka pa sa langit. Kung nasa langit na tayo, wala nang sakit magmahal. Habang tayo ay nasa sa lupa, mayroong sakit ang pagmamahal. Mayroong disappointment ang pagmamahal. Sapagkat hindi pwedeng mapuno ng kahit sinong tao o kahit anong pangyayari yung ating pagnanasa na mahalin. There is no one, there is nothing here on earth who will ever be able to satisfy our longing, our deep longing to be loved. So what should we do? First, you have to accept that part of loving is being disappointed by your beloved. You just have to accept. But in addition to accepting that part of loving is being disappointed by your beloved, you must also be honest enough that you have disappointed those who have loved you. You must be humble enough to acknowledge that you have disappointed, you have hurt, you have blemished the love of those who love you. We have been hurt when we loved, 
but we have also hurt others when they loved us. And therefore, the key is to accept. To accept that our love is imperfect and to accept that the love we will receive will also be imperfect because this is still earth. We are not yet in heaven. The second thing that we must do if we are so disappointed is to grieve. Cry. Walang masamang umiyak. Ilabas sa luha sapagkat ang luha nakakalinis ng ating kalooban. Ang luha ay lumalabas sa ating mata pero pag lumabas ang luha sa ating mukha, nililinis din niya yung sakit ng ating kalooban. Cry. Because if you will pretend that everything is all right, if you will pretend that you are not disappointed, that you are not frustrated, that everything is all right, you are going to build resentment. You are going to build the attraction of revenge. That sooner or later, you will just get cynical and not love at all. The first is accept. The second is grieve. And the third is try again. Try again. If you are looking for a partner who will always be exciting, do not look at anyone because there will be moments when we will not be exciting, when we will not be pleasurable, when we will not be happy to love, and we will not be happy to share love. If you are looking for a companion who will never disappoint you, who will always be exciting for you, you are not looking for a living creature because for as long as we are here on earth, our love will always be disappointing and frustrating, blemished and hurting. Three words to do, my dear brothers and sisters. If you have been disappointed, if you have been hurt by those you love, accept. Accept that love is like that. And accept that you are like that too. That you have been hurt and you have also hurt. And everybody has been hurt. And everybody has hurt somebody sometime in this life. Grieve. Let your soul be cleansed by the tears from your heart. If there is a lump in your throat and you are tempted not to love at all, cry. Cry with the Lord. Cry over it because crying will clean you. But don't cry forever. Start again and keep on trying. And believe me, you will get hurt again. And believe me, you will cry again. But just keep on trying and trying and trying until that day comes when we breathe our last and we can say, I have loved, I have hurt, I have been hurt, I have been sorry, I have grieved, I will try again. And in heaven, we can love without disappointment. We can love without frustration. We can love without pain because we will see, we will be seeing the face of our loving God.